Hello and welcome to another CAD clip. In this lesson we're going to give you a, t a little tip on um, providing a sweep around um, a window trim and we can apply these rules to anywhere um, and it's with regards to an error we get when we try to sweep um, uh, a solid around a transition from a straight segment to a an arc or arched segment. We're going to start this by creating a new family and we're going to use the window um, template file to start this um, family off. And inside of there we're going to go to the exterior view and what happens is is when you try to sweep um, a solid around from a straight segment to an arc segment you can run into some problems and I have been reminded by a friend of mine um, uh, that I even forgot myself how this works so it's funny how I can show people things and they can come back and say you already showed me how to do that so um, so what we've got here is a wall with the default um, opening I'm gonna hit tab and select on this opening and say edit the sketch so I'm going to take that top part of that window and just delete it okay now what we want to do here we want to add a sweep for the trim that goes around this window as part of our family Okay, but basically we're taking a sweep and sweeping it around. Could be a window, could be anything. The problem is, is when we do this. If we take an arc and we draw the top of that window, as long as the arc on this window is a full kind of semicircle, okay, and this this is a tangent connection, when we do the sweep, it'll go all the way around, and we can use either sketching for the sweep path, or we can use the pick option for the sweep path and what we're talking about is the path um, that we're going to use our sweep for if this if this is a nice tangent um, transition at this point you're not going to have a problem with your sweep okay I'm going to delete that if this top segment is a 90 degree um, oh sorry line if this this comes straight across like this escape escape you'll find that the sweep goes all the way around okay but the confusing part I'm gonna delete this is if you take that top part and it goes like this and kind of like a semicircle or a circle that's non-tangent okay and then I hit escape escape okay and then I'm gonna say okay finish the opening so there's my new opening now when I do the sweep quite often the easiest way to provide the path for the sweep is to pick existing geometry and I'm going to show you the error you get and then I'm going to show you how to fix it so let's say we go in here and we say create sweep right and quite often when we do a sweep we say okay well here's my opening I'll just pick the path so I say pick and I say pick here pick here pick here pick there there's my path for the sweep and I say finish the path notice I picked this one first that's where my profile will start from so I say okay now I'm going to edit the profile so I say okay look from the right hand side open up the right hand side and then I zoom in down to here notice it's on the exterior reference plane and and then I go in and I say okay I'm gonna sketch the path using sorry sketch the profile of this you know window trim something like this I'm not worrying about accuracy or anything you know about size or whatever we're just gonna do this escape escape there's the profile that I want to sweep around that exterior so I say okay finish the profile so far so good finish the sweep and uh, I get an error can't create sweep and you can understand why it'll do the full semicircle it'll do the full 90 degree corner but the problem here is it's not being able to sweep that around this little intersection or you, you, it doesn't even really tell you it just won't do it so you get frustrated and I know I have and uh, someone reminded me and said hey Daryl you already showed me how to do this some time ago don't need that so um, so that's fine I sit I hit cancel okay and cancel so I don't want to do I've canceled out of doing that sweep now this is how you can make it work we go to solid and we say sweep okay instead of pick path which is the quickest way we say sketch path so this is going to solve the problem we say sketch path and part of the reason why we use the pick path is because it automatically locks to 
the geometry. What we want to do if we're sketching is take chain off because with chain on it doesn't let you provide all the little locks right after it. So you want to take the chain off. So I want to do this segment first, click, click, and then I'm going to say lock and lock. Okay, then I'm going to do this segment, click, click, okay, lock, lock. Then I'm going to do this segment, click, click, and lock, and then now the arc segment, okay, click, click, and click. And everything locks up because sketch lines talk to each other. Now I've sketched the path, basically this achieving the same results, but this time it's going to work. So I say, okay, finish the path. Now I go back to do the same thing, edit profile and I'm going to do it from the right hand side okay and then I'm going to zoom in and I will sketch my profile and I'll say okay line same as before click click I'll even be a little bit more elaborate this time put a little bit of a sash in there and then maybe even a little drip edge on the outside and over. Escape, escape, and then finish the profile and Shazam, finish the sketch, and then it works magically. And you may not ever figure this out. Okay, so there's my 3D. And of course, I, I wouldn't really want my exterior trim to be doing that at the top, but for the most part, you will get the um, sweep to work if you sketch the path instead of. Um, picking the path. So if you ever get that can't create sweep um, error no matter what, doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't have to be a window, try sketching your path instead of picking your path. Okay, That might solve a lot of your problems.